Hi guys, today I'll be showing you one of the best professional PDF converter tools for Mac computers called UPDF Converter, right here. This is the look of the app. What this app does is that it allows you to convert from a PDF file to a variety of formats, including Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Excel, CSV, RTF, text file, image file, including JPG and PNG, XML, PDFA and HTML. What really special about this app is that it also comes with a new feature called OCR or in full word, optical character recognition. This means that even if your PDF file is an image document, your PDF converter app here still recognize the text, layouts, and text formats in that image document and convert it without losing those texts as well as layouts and the text formats. It's really cool. So in order to get this app, the link is in the description. You can click on it and it will redirect you to App Store. And you can try the trial version first to see how it works. If you like it and you think it's useful, then you can subscribe to the premium or the pro version of this app so that you can have access to all of these features here. So let me show you an example here, how this app works and how cool it is. So you can see here, we have a button say add files. You can click on it or click on add here the same or even just drag and drop. Let's say I have this file here. Take a look at it. This is a PDF file, but this is an image. I actually took a picture of a page from a book and convert it to PDF. So how do you convert it into a PDF format or PDF extension? It's simple. You just have to go to Safari and then you type in convert, let's say PNG to PDF. So this is an online application. So here it's free. Let's say I have this file here. This is an image file, PNG file. I want to convert this into a PDF. So what you need to do is go to this website, click on upload file, select desktop, select that file, click upload, wait for it. Done. It uploaded and converted for you quickly. Just click download. And now you have a PDF file. It's an image. It's kind of like image PDF file. So now you can convert this using UPDF into an editable file. Like my preference, usually I convert from this image file into a Word file so that I can make some changes to it. So the tag here is the image file. It's a PDF, but image file, which means if I want to convert it, I need to turn on the OCR feature so that everything becomes like the way you see here with the title like that, with the dark down here, with the text curve like that. So like I said, you can just click add here, find that file or just drag and drop like that. Now you just select on the format you want to convert to. Like in this situation, I would convert it to Word so that I can edit some of the text there to suit my needs. What I do is I click on these three dots here and you can see the option say OCR setting. You turn it on and they have the languages that you can choose. It support a lot of languages here, you can see. But because this text is English, so I select English and then you click apply to all if you want like all pages to be converted. Once you've done that, you click on go and it ask you to select the destination where you want the new file that you have converted to be saved to. So I would just select desktop right there and click save. It will start converting. Done. Right here. Or you can just see it right here. Exactly the same name, but with different extension. Now it is the OCX, which means this is a Microsoft Word document. Double click on it. Okay, you can see it here. So this part here, it keeps like that. You can even delete it if you want to, like that. And this text here, you see, the text look like the original one. Even with the line number here, you can even edit it. Like from tell to telling, you can modify it if you want to. You scroll down, keep scrolling. And you can see this one here, this image down here. You can still see the text curling here because they have the image of a person holding the dog's paw here. So you can see it keep everything exactly the same as the way it was from the original file. And when I quit it, of course it asked me this question because at the moment I try to edit the file. I just click on don't save. So you can see between this original file and the converted file, it look almost exactly the same. It's really cool. So let's say I want to convert this file here and take a look at it. So this file is the normal PDF file. I want to convert this into an Excel file. 
So because this one, it, it is just a normal PDF file, it's not an image file, I do not need to turn on the OCO feature here. So I select Excel here. And remember, if you have multiple files that you want to convert into the same format, you can add it in and then it will all be converted into the same format. Click on go, select your destination, it's already on desktop, so I click save. It's done. It's right here or right here, you can just double click on it. And you can see this here. So with everything you can edit, change it or leave it like that. Everything now become an editable text. Now let's say I want to convert this file into a PowerPoint. Let me take a look at it here. So this is actually a PowerPoint file already, but the owner of this uh, PowerPoint file decided to convert it into PDF so that no one can edit anything to it. But let's say I want to use this PowerPoint slide here. So I want to make some changes to suit my need. I want to customize the text here. So I need to convert it first from this PDF file back into the PowerPoint file. So let's do that. So I just added already here. Now I want to convert into PowerPoint, just select PowerPoint here. And again, because this is not the image file, I do not need to turn on the OCO feature here. Just select it, click on PowerPoint, click go, and then save. Just wait for it. Done, it's right here. So just double click on it and see how it goes. Okay, you can see here. So the file that you cannot edit at the moment, now you can edit it. So you can edit to the way you want it to be. Even this image, you can delete it if you want it. So everything can be edited now. It's really cool. So again, if you're interested in this app, the link is in the description. So once you click the link in the description, it will pop this up. The first link will show you this. You can try it first. It's a part Windows 11, 10, 8.1. 8 and 7 and also for Mac computers it support Mac OS 10.14 or later or you can just buy it here if you click on buy you can see right now it's on promotion the perpetual license or the permanent license for only $19.99 for Windows computer for Mac computer the link also is in the description it, it will redirect you to the App Store and it will show you this UPDF converter with OCR you can do the annual subscription or monthly subscription but I would recommend you to buy the perpetual license or the permanent license. It only costs $19.99 better than buying the annual subscription here. Okay that's it guys. This is UPDF Converter Tool, one of the best professional PDF converters for your Mac and Windows computer. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video please give us a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day guys. See you in the next video.